Hello there YouTubers, I am Leonix and welcome back for this next episode of Metabots, an RPG adventure. Uh, sorry it's been so long since I brought this next episode out, I've been wrapped up in Pokemon stuff. Um, I have been doing some off screen levelling, I will do that for you guys because you don't want to see all the grindy grindy stuff. So I believe we have to go and speak to Erica next. So I think we'll do that, um, actually uh, where is it? I think before we do that, there's a meta part that you can't pick up until much later in the game that's quite useful. Ah, it's from one of the staff members. So, we'll battle this guy, and hopefully we'll be able to get, because these ones you won't be able to fight until much later in the game, I won't spoil it to uh, where you can get it. Well, he does become one of the regular enemies of a certain area, but uh, he has some quite, well basically they are tanks. Tanks on wheels. Oh. Anyway, um, this is the first fight. For a long time we'll have to fight two metabots at once. At least it would be two and one. So it's not a uh, fight you want to be dealing with. Oh great, I can only... I feel, in case I haven't explained it before, the top metabot is classed as the leader, and then the second and third metabot are classed as um, just the other two to bulk out the team. You take out the leader, you win the row battle, so you don't really want to concern yourself with two and three so much. But since I have to attack him, I'll go with the fastest attack I have on offer. These guys move really slow though. I don't know if it's to do with the terrain. Oh wow! That was a powerful shot. <laughs> okay. Oh, stop aiming at him! It's another revolver then. I want to be aiming for the leader. Because these guys have got tanky uh, legs as it is anyway. Good. Skill up shoot. Okay, let's go for a submachine gun then. Oh, this is probably going to hurt. Because <laughs> now I've used an aim shot, so he's going to be... Uh, I'm not going to be able to dodge the next attack. Might do increased damage, I'm not sure. Not totally sure about the whole mechanics of this game. It's not explained in too much detail. That's what a lot of games like to uh, hide that kind of detail. Just to keep a bit of mystery about the game, I guess. So what are you guys up to today? I'm recording this quite late, I'll be going to work soon, but um, hopefully I can get this up, uh, uploaded and you guys can see it um, tomorrow. So tomorrow will be Friday now. So it's not out by Friday, <laughs> I fucked up somewhere. Okay, these guys take a lot of hits, I'm just going to keep revolvering. I did level up to level 9, so the next level up we should get the Metaphors, which is going to become important for a boss fight that's coming up soon. Which, uh, I don't think it's necessary, but I feel I need it at least. Let's go for a missile. Oh, going to be taking some damage. How much does this do? Oh, I think that's our first dodge! Oh my god! Maybe it's because I leveled up my metal quite a bit. Oh, and he hits that one. Almost takes out the part. Level 1 HP on that part. I mean, in terms of leveling up in this game, it's not super important about what level your metal is. It's more concerned about what parts you have. So, you can grind, but most of the time you'll be grinding for rare uh, meta part drops. Not necessarily to level up your medals, although the competence of a part is represented uh, represented better by high level medals. Oh, that is a bulky head part. That is. I managed to hit it though. Let's try it again. He's moving super slow. Get his head. Get his head. Get his head. Yes. Okay. I think we're going to uh, just 
see the state right there because I want the right arm part. Oh, there it is. Okay. That worked out brilliantly. That's that's what some schools say right before they take their students' metal watch. Okay. So here is my revolver. 19 power, charge 4, radiation 3. That's how fast it goes there and back from the blocks. Rate of success. That's its rate of success. The armor is 30. Now, I do have so a sniper rifle. is less powerful and slower, but it gets more armor. But this Vulcan, it gets an extra 10 power. It is a bit slower. It's still a shoot part, though. And it's got more armor, 15 more armor. So overall, I think it's worth it because we want as much power as we can get on all of our parts, which we'll uh, come to realize soon enough. So let's go and find Erica. I believe she is in this classroom. She is reading the paper. The school paper headline reads: Leonix survives another row battle. Survives. Hmm. Hey, Erica. Did you write a good article? Hmm. I'm writing it now. But more importantly, there is a rumour going around that some weirdo is using a metabot to tickle girls. His hideout has to be in town for sure. Go check it out, and I'll be right there after I finish this article. Why do I have to go? The culprit will escape while you keep stand there complaining. Get going! Oh dear, you will get used to her bossy behaviour. <laughs> it's just... it's her character. She is our only friend, after all. Keep all the friends. Ooh. Salty! Eek! That's Salty, but who is that other voice? Is this your dog? Wow, cute. Playing it cool. <laughs> um, I mean, was my dog bothering you? Not at all. He suddenly came running out. I was just surprised. Oh, is that all? <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, nice to meet you. My name is Karen. Wow, Karen! Uh, I'm Leonix Tenryu. That's the last name of the uh, character's name in the anime. His name is actually Icky Tenryu. But uh, for some reason you can't change your last name in this game, so we're stuck with Tenryu. By the way, did you see a boy from the next town over whose name was Koji? I didn't see him. I see. Please tell me if you do see him. Okay. Well, I'll see you later then. That's one really polite girl. I wonder if she's in from the next town, town over. Otherwise, everyone will be talking about a cute girl like that. Uh, little boy's fantasies. Hmm, it's a shady building. This place looks pretty shady. That's exactly what I said. Oh, Erica! Finally decided to get off with your fat ass. Leonix, we've got trouble! <laughs> That's he fell down the well. A metal fighter came from the neighboring town's Rosewood private school decided picking fights in her own school he's, he's in there now why yes exactly why do I have to go what are the teachers doing about it don't ask me hurry and come to school why do I have to go let the staff deal with it Erica come just come got it that shouty face is creepy anyway you walk so slow the Metafighter is already here! We told me he was already here. The culprit is one of you guys, isn't it? Show yourself, you coward! How dare you talk to me like that! I'll challenge you, but don't worry, I'll go easy on you. Hey boss! If we beat this guy, it's gonna be a real smack in the face to Roseville Private School! I'm gonna mess up your clothes too! I'll take you all on! Time to burn row battle! What a scoop! Wow, this is intense. <laughs> oh, that metabot got fucked up! Ah, my pepper cat! Hey, you! Don't take only my bad side! I think that last click was shut up. Whoa, boss, we're in trouble! Metabot retreat! 
Is that all you've got? What should we do, boys? Now I've gotta watch my metabot too! Men, resort to plan B! Let's get out of here! Wait, you! Hmm, I wonder who that could be. Whoa, he's powerful! Is this the time to be impressed? Let's go! Huh? Okay, I think for this episode we're going to end it there. I'll probably level up once more to get the Metaphors. I'll probably show you um, the level up at the very next, uh, at the very start of the next episode. And then we're going to fight this mystery Metafighter who's causing trouble in our school. So leave a like if you liked anything about this video. Subscribe if you want to see the um, updates of my videos the minute they come out and thank you for watching Linux out